and Greenway Nashua Kewatin will be the Pioneers' first round matchup. The Titans have exploded onto the scene this year, going 7 and 2 after four straight losing seasons, and they don't plan on going home anytime soon. In his 23 years as head coach of the Titans, Bob Schwartz admits this may not be the most talented team he's ever had, but the team just finds ways to win. We've had more talented teams that haven't gone as far and uh it, uh, but uh, ultimately it comes down to winning and these guys have won so they deserve to be where they're at. Six of the team's nine games have been decided by eight points or less with the Titans coming out on top in four of those matchups including their 12-6 win over Proctor in the Section 7-3A title game. We love coming from behind and coming from as an underdog stepping up and being the better team you know, at the end of the game. It's just a, a will to win and uh, we haven't had that for uh, quite a few years here. It's, it's been unmatched our will to win this year. Now the Titans are headed back to state for the first time since 2011. Uh, we were all pumped, couldn't believe it. It was our dreams from when we were younger. I uh, can't believe we made it this far. When the final buzzer sound, we, it was nuts. It was awesome. Great feeling. And despite having to take on defending champion Piers in the quarterfinals, they have no doubts about their ability to survive and advance. we got to play our game, and uh, there is no defending state champions anymore. There's eight of us that made the state tournament, and we're approaching it that way. So they call my defensive and offensive line. If they win the line of scrimmage, I think we got the game. Because the team has one goal on their mind. I think our team can make it to the bank. I think we should make it all the way, go get to the bank. Piers is pretty good. Uh, just going to have to beat them. We're expecting to uh, make a run here. We want to make a push and we want to give peers a game and, you know, earn, earn their respect and the state's respect. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.